Now, a couple of things I don't tell you is there's a there's four holes, two on each side. Um, you're going to want to bring your own drywall screw, screws that are like an inch long or so and sink them in. And that will help hold this uh, frame in before you put in these longer drywall screws on the bottom. Keeps everything real snug. Um, the white screws are the ones that they provide. I think they're one and a half or one and three quarter inch. Somewhere around there. That's the whole install before you put the grate on. And that's the final install with the grate installed. The grate just pops back in once you put the frame in. Um, and I can't remember how wide it was because uh, I didn't bring a tape measure. But it's, I don't know, roughly maybe two foot by a little over a foot. It's pretty small. And that just hides the whole innards of the whole system, the ductwork and everything else. It's going to be hard to see, but you'll kind of get an idea of what I did. To pre-hang to pre -hang the, um, <clears throat> the fan, which weighs about 50 pounds, uh, I did it by myself. So I just put a nail up on the top and hung it with a 400-pound fishing line that I happen to have uh, laying around. That took the weight off it while I was able to install the straps after. Um, and then the other thing that they don't really tell you when you do the install is the actual uh, baffle box. You need to make sure that when you put your cutout down on your ceiling before you cut it out that you leave a little bit of room on the uh, edge because the baffle box is about two inches wider than that cutout. In other words, if you put that cutout too close to the, uh, the uh, joist, um, and you cut your hole, you're going to have to recut it again and seal that hole because the box sticks out a little more than that. Um, and they also said you want to fold up some of those side tins and <clears throat> um, push it up against the rafter. But what I would say is watch the video <laughs> real carefully. But as far as you know, the actual cutout for the template, make sure that you um, leave a little bit of room on the side because the box is bigger than that template is. And you'll understand why when you actually see it. When I did my cutting, I cut from the top going um, downwards. I used my uh, jigsaw so that it wouldn't be raining down all over my face. And <clears throat> that what you want to do is um, put a couple of drywall screws in the part that you're going to cut out at the very end portion so you can hold it. Otherwise, when you cut it, the weight of the drywall will pull down and there's a chance you could break off <clears throat> an uneven edge or damage the top of your of your thing unless you have somebody underneath holding it in which case all that white dust is going to rain down on them but again i did this by myself i would not recommend doing it by yourself if you've got a buddy just i didn't have anyone to help me and um, i cut from the top down but make sure you support that drywall as you cut it And that's the Wi-Fi plug. It's just a plug I picked up on Amazon, and I'll take a picture of it in a second. And it is the greatest thing ever invented. Um, and it allows, allows you to control this thing remotely wherever you are in the world. And the plug that comes with the um, quiet cooler, it's just a 110, 120 plug. It plugs into any outlet. But you will have to wire it um, for control if you don't use a Wi-Fi controller like I do. So you have to install the app, but once you do, it's real simple. It's called Smart Life. You turn it on, it has the whole fan um, settings, and you can control other things too. There's a green dot right there that'll turn it on, or if you want to do any of the settings, you just click on it. It shows you this giant outlet, and when you click on that outlet, 
and it immediately fires the fan up. You click it again, turns the fan off. And there's also all these different things. There's a timer, there's different settings so you could set a day of the week and things like that. It's really, really convenient. You can control it anywhere that you're at, not even in your house. I can control this from my work. It's a little hard to see, but I'm going to turn the fan on and you can see all the drapes billow in as soon as I turn it on. This is downstairs. Um, all the windows that are open will have the um, blinds and stuff pulling in and turn it off. And you can see it kind of sink back. That's pretty much it. The whole unit ran me about, I think the fan was 800 plus tax and the controller was a whopping $13 for the Wi-Fi plug <clears throat> from Amazon and that was delivered. So for $850 um, it's made a tremendous difference. As long as the air is cool on the outside of your house, uh, you'll be able to use this. And it will bring in dust because anything that's outside is going to come in. But it's not too bad and it's definitely worth it because we were getting killed on our AC bills. And like I said, the Wi-Fi plug, I really can't say more about it. It's great. It's got a green light to turn it on here. I could actually go to the application. It's got a big socket. If I tap it, it turns the unit on. Um, and there's also functions where I could set timers, day of the week schedules, things like that. So I actually have it programmed where it's going to turn on automatically at 9 at night and turns off again at 2 um, to cool the house down. That's just because right now it's really hot in my neighborhood. Uh, just one caution, if you get this Wi-Fi plug, you have to make sure that your router runs at 2.4 gigahertz. A lot of them, like mine, are dual bands at 2.4 and 5. And it's always trying to search for the 5 on my phone. So I had to split the signal and rename the 2.4 to a different name with a different password in order to set it up. Once it's set up, you don't have to worry. It's just during the setup phase you have to do that. And if you have any problems, you could hit up your techs on whatever cable company or whatever modem company you have, and they'll be able to walk you through it. It's not a big deal at all. But, I mean, it's great. I can control this fan anywhere I want. If uh, by chance we leave it on and we leave the house and forget about it, wherever I am in the world, I can just pop the app open and turn it off. And it's been working out great, like I said. The install took me probably three hours total, and that's including putting the wiring up because I had to wire a 110 socket upstairs um, for the plug. You want to do it when it's cool, so you're going to do it early in the morning uh, rather than late at night because even at night, all that heat gathers up in your attic, and you'll be surprised how hot it is. And that's if you try to do the install, and I would not recommend doing it by yourself. I did it. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt, especially pushing that fan up through the hole in my attic because it weighs 50 pounds and you're on a ladder, so you have to be real careful. It's probably worth it to hire somebody unless you're very handy. And that's it.